Good afternoon. May come as no surprise to some of you viewers that I am an absolute massive fan of the uh, wild country Helm 1. Well, let me introduce you to the new Helm 1, the Helm 1 Compact. As you can see, it's a slightly lighter shade of green than the old one. I see they've changed the tensioners for line locks now, which is quite nice. The connection from the inner to the outer has changed to this hooks um, setup. It used to be like an elastic band, which then went round the uh, the peg. Uh, it does look a lot more secure, I have to say. Pegs are exactly the same as the old ones. The Achilles heel of the original Helm one was this point here. It used to get rubbing between the two poles and it could actually put a hole through the, the pole sleeve here. Um, on my original one, I actually put a patch in, but I don't think you have to do it on this one. It looks like it's got a reinforced patch already. Right, well, let's have a look inside. The door secure is exactly the same as the original. It, it works, but I'd love to have seen the Pioneer 2 set up on here. This is the footprint from the original Helm one, which fits this tent perfectly. Now on first look, apart from a slightly lighter bathtub ground sheet, it looks exactly the same as the original until you look up. <laughs> and as you can see, there is no mesh. Right, let's get some gear in the tent so we see how much room we've got to play with. So, everything's in, as you can see, it's pretty much identical to the Helm one, albeit without all the mesh. Vestibule is still very spacious, enough room for a, a rucksack, a stove, boots. You've got the cubby hole at the back, which I barely use to be honest, but there is tons of room in there. Probably a good place to store your coats and wet gear if you're out on the hills. There's a bit of room beside the sleeping bag, that's a X-Firm uh, regular mat. So there's still a fair bit of room at the side. So. It would have been nice to have a tensioner here to keep the uh, bathtub taut just at this point. I suppose it's a mod that I could do. Remains to be seen how the emission of the netting is going to have an effect on the uh, breathability of this tent. I can imagine it's going to be a lot warmer in the winter without it. But will it be condensation free? We shall see. And being on lockdown at the moment, it's gonna be a while before it gets tested in the wild. So from what I can see, it's all rather a familiar tent, which to be honest, is a good thing. I make no bones about it. I was a great fan of the Helm one. In many ways, I felt it was the um, perfect tent. Perfect weight, perfect price, and perfect strength. And I'm talking about all tents. And although only a minor upgrade from the original Helm 1, the Helm 1 Compact seems to have made, in my opinion, the best one-man tent just that little bit better. <laughs>